Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we're going to have Jerry. Jerry is from Rhode Island in the USA. So let's see what Jerry has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, now I can. Hello, Jerry. Hello, how are you? Very well, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? Very good. So tell me, how's your morning going so far? I'm doing good. I'm getting ready to go to spa. Spa day? Yeah, my birthday is tomorrow. Oh my God, amazing. Wow. <laughs> Do you like celebrating your birthday? Yeah, so I'm, I work tomorrow, but I'm celebrating today. I see. So tell me where you're from, Jerry. I'm from Rhode Island. I'm Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, so tell me a little bit about um, Rhode Island. Tell me a little bit about the Rhode Island state. Um, it's it's cold here. Um, it's nice. Um, it's a good place to visit. Um, it's very, very, very small. Very small state. Mm -hmm. Um. It's not, I mean, it's a party. It's like a lounge area. You can like, lounge around. Um, but it's got a lot of places to see and like visit. And and where you from? I'm originally from Brazil, but I live in London, in the UK, been, in England. Yeah. yeah, I moved to Paris. You've been to Paris? Mm -hmm. Wow. For vacation or for work? Vacation. I see. And Rhode Island, Island, is the place where you were born and raised? No, I was born and raised in Orlando. Oh, so why did you change from Orlando to Rhode Island? School. Um, school and work. I see. And how long have you been living there for? Seven years. Seven years. Wow. And all your family are back in, in Florida, in Orlando? In Florida. I see. And uh, what do you do for work, Jerry, for living? Um, a licensed hairstylist and a barber. Hmm. So walk me through a little bit about your journey so far as a hairstylist and barber. Um, it's been good. I like it. I'm, I have my own little shop in my like apartment. Um, and then I do work with disability kids and adults too. So mm -hmm. I'm like a um, SIP. I'm a support staff. Um, like my journey has been great. My hair journey has been great. My everything has been great for me. Amazing. So, um, so you, as you mentioned that you have your own salon right now. Mm -hmm. your own business. Yes. I see. And your business, it's your salon is open every single day or not? Every day. Every day? Every day a week. Wow. Amazing. You are a busy man, I can see. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Very, very. <laughs> it's good to be busy. I think it's great. I think when you are busy, your mind is <clears throat> out of trouble. That's what I believe. True. <laughs> hey, Jerry, before we start our journey, within the magic box, how would you like to tell me something interesting about yourself? Um, interesting about me. I'm a great cook. Oh, wow. So what do you like to cook the most? Um, I like to make uh, like my like fried chicken, mm -hmm. my southern fried chicken. I see. Amazing. So Jerry, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and to share your point of views? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to William and the Magic Box. So, this is my best friend. Okay. Hello, from the fun questions. I'm just going to play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Hey, Jerry, before we start the game, during the join, if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about some reason you don't want to answer, obviously can't change, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Right. First question for you is, what is your favorite TV show? Um, Shameless. Hmm, tell me about it. Um, it's, I, I like very funny. I like funny shows. I don't really care for scary shows. Um, that's a very funny show. It's something on TV right now or it's something quite old? Um, it's not on no more. It was on... It was like a, a TV series on like Netflix and like... Mm -hmm. Do you like to do watch a few series like in a row or are you kind of like time to time? Time to time. Yeah? All right. Next question. Let's do it. Hey, Jerry, next question for you is, if you could meet yourself, yeah, when you were 15 years old again, with advice would you give to yourself? I never give up. Tell me a little bit about it. Why is that? Why would you say that this advice to you uh, when you're 15? Because people tend to give up and people tend to go in the wrong path. So I feel like if I was to see myself 15 years back, I would tell myself, don't give up, you know, keep fighting. It's always a better outcome, so. How was growing up uh, back in your land in Florida? Tell me, walk me for a little bit about your childhood. Um, I was always well, bullied, bullied when I was younger. Um, it was very hard growing up because I was the youngest out of 14 siblings and then younger family. You're, younger younger, you're younger of 14 uh, siblings. Mm -hmm. And then younger out of five. So. Wow. Wow. It was very difficult. So. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, I got through it. I'm happy. Like I said, I'm happy. Like, you have to go through a lot of stuff to get where you want to be in life. So. And um, I believe you are a gay guy, yes? Are you open to talk about? Oh, I am. I'm very yeah. open. I'm as open as you can be in the open book. Amazing. So tell me, how was your experience growing up as a gay boy? Uh, did you have the support of your family? How was it? Oh, yeah. My my sister and my brother is gay. Um, my mom, big supporter. My dad, supporter. My grandma, uh, here and there, but... I mean, I'm old enough now, so I'm like, I didn't come out until I was like 18 anyway, so. so. Uh -huh. And who in your family you are more close to? Um, My cousin. Yeah, we're like, that's like my best friend. Uh-huh. So. And how, how did you become, how did you become closer? Uh, we just always, always growing up hanging out together from in like high school from leaving high school we used to hang out the only thing now that we stay literally probably like 17 18 hours away from each other wow. and i didn't see her in I, like in person i didn't see her probably in like four or five years now but uh -huh. we facetime all the time so oh Amazing. What's so what's uh, what's the name of your cousin? Oh, her name is um, Desiree. <laughs> Desiree. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Next question. Let's do it. So, um, Jerry, tell me um, before the next question, what's the best part of being a hairstylist, a barber? Yeah, what do you like the most about your job? It, and the flip side, what do you find most challenging? Um. Well, what I like about it is I can turn people, I can make them look beautiful. I can make them feel good again. Um, the downside is you can't please everybody. Everybody's not going to be happy. You will have some clients that's not going to like it, some clients that do, and that's okay. You just have to learn how to deal with them kind of type of clients. That's all. And that's a, the advice I give to everybody. You just like how to learn how to deal with the clients, me, I probably had that situation probably once. Mm -hmm. um, 
probably, yeah, probably was. Because most likely everybody loves my personality. So yeah. I really just, I don't know, just, I, I might just be me. So I don't know. And most of your clients, uh, they go in your salon, they are uh, men or women? I'm both. Both? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Next question is, who is a celebrity you admire and why? Um, so I love Nicki Minaj. Wow. Amazing. Um, that I admire. I mean, I like her. I mean, I am a can bar. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Nicki Minaj and then I can say. Um, What's your favorite song of Nicki Minaj? Oh, I mean, all songs. I like all songs. Um, I don't really have a favorite. Uh huh. But like Nicki Minaj, I like her songs um, and Lotto. I see. All right. Have you ever been her concert? No. Is she doing something right now? I haven't, I haven't heard just a lot about her like lately. Is she working on an album or something, or she's kind of took some time off? Oh, Nick Minaj. Yeah, she just um, released a couple songs not too long ago mm -hmm. with Ice Spice um, and Little Uzi. I see. All right. Next question. Let's do it. Hey, Jerry, next question is, what a negative thing that happened to you that came out as a positive thing in the end? Um, somebody I was, well, uh, I lost my job and then after I got two jobs offered after I lost one of my jobs. That was a negative thing that happened out of nowhere and then two positive things came above so wow in Rhode, Rhode Island mm -hmm. yeah tell me um when you think about yourself Jerry when you analyze yourself tell me what's the best part of being Jerry what do you like the most about being you um I'm, I'm me um I say what's on my mind um, I like to have fun. My life is short, so I enjoy every every minute and every day of it. And and something that um, you feel like okay, I I still could improve in something. Something that you you are work on it every oh, single day. My my hair, like hair, like my hair journey. I can always learn more and more. So it's always learning every day about everything like hair because i want to be a massage therapist too so learning how to be a more better massage therapist like little stuff so i mean you can learn every day about about everything mm -hmm. absolutely i think we are work in progress every single day every single day is we are learning something new we are getting something new for sure mm -hmm. are you feeling cold yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit oh, um, yeah, and then I was just trying to like, you know. <laughs> no, don't need to be shy. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm not shy, don't worry. <laughs> Next one, let's do it. Hey, Jerry, next question is, which movie had a big influence on you? Um, bring it down the house. Tell me about it. Why this move is um, gave a big um, impact? It was Queen Latifah in it. Um, it was very funny. Um, goes back to I like funny movies. Um, it was very interesting. Um, Do you watch movies very often? I don't. I work no? a lot. I'm more <laughs> like I work a lot. Like literally seven days a week, I work. Wow. So, so walk me through walk me through a little bit about uh, your normal days. Like for example, you wake up very early. You go to how, how, walk me through a little bit one of your busy day. So Saturdays and Thursdays are one of my like busy busy days. 
Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesday is a busy day. Mm-hmm. Um, Sundays is mostly like my days off. I try to like do my stuff all around the house. Um, get back to work on Monday. Friday is like my errand day just to do all like my errands and stuff and make sure I get everything done because I can't do it any other day. So um, um, you wake up very early, like on your busy days, do you have class? Do, do yes, I wake up around like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, probably sometimes 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I do have 24-7, to be honest. So if somebody called me at like 12 o'clock at night, the price is just different, but I'm available to do hair. See. For sure, you're a busy man, I can see. <laughs> Ready for another right. one? Mm-hmm. Another question? Ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Next one, Jerry. Before the next question, tell me what do you miss the most about Orlando, Florida? The sun. <laughs> Straight away, you said the sun. <laughs> It's a big difference between Rhode Island Islands and uh, Florida. Mm-hmm. It's, it snows there. Oh, and, and it's very far away as well from Florida. How far is it, this, this state? 24 hours. Wow. And why Rhode Island? Why the change from there? Mm-hmm. It was just I because knew, of work? No, I, mean, I knew someone that stays here. My, my sister and stuff. I moved here and then... Um, Oh, I so you had to, you already had the relatives well, living there. She's not my real sister. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. And do you see yourself living there for a long while? E- yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next question is this question is my favorite question of the magic box, okay? And came up for you. Okay, send away a message to someone but you don't need to tell who this message is for just the person watching right now would you know okay this message is sent to me oh like like say a message to them right now yeah to anyone just think about someone that you can say like send a message and uh you know you don't need to tell their names okay no you're watching and you see me so i want to tell you that i'm proud of you i love you and keep your journey going Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm sure this person must be smiling right now. (laughs) (laughs) Jerry, I have three questions left for you, okay? Let's do it. Next question is, describe yourself in one positive word and one negative word only. Um, Positive word is very... um, very motivated. Okay. Negative word is keep striving. I don't, I don't really have nothing really negative to say about me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Never give up. Keep going, always. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Let's do it. Two questions left. Let's do it. Jeremy, before the next question, through your career, yeah, as a hairstylist and barber, tell me um, a situation or a moment, you know, um, through your work that you go like, you know what, I'll never forget this this moment or this experience, cool. something that happened. School. I never thought I would get done with that school. I was in school for almost, uh, yeah, a year and a half. I never thought it was going to end. I was like, what the hell? Because I feel like it was just always something that was fine or something that was trying to, like, I'm like, what the hell? Am I going to get done with this school? But eventually got done. And that's why one of my thing is never give up. No matter how hard it is, keep going. And do you have, like, a, a situation through your career, you know, with a client, one of your clients, I like a feedback that you go, like, you know what, that was something special? 
Um, yeah, I have a client that literally left the school to follow me to let me cut their hair. Now I'm cutting their white hair too. So, wow, very good. Next question is: What is the most memorable lesson you've learned from your parents? From who? Your parents. <laughs> well, my mom that very independent, like she's very, she let me know off rip, like, hey, you gotta be independent, you gotta, you gotta be a go-getter. My dad is, don't ever take blank from anybody, it's from nobody. So, um, that's it. I mean, I learned a lot, but mm -hmm. that's mostly like, my dad don't let me, tell me like, don't take nothing from nobody. Like, You know your work, embrace it. Don't let nobody tell you less than. I see, very good. Ready for the last question? I, I am nervous, yeah. <laughs> last question, let's do it. As you're, before the next one, as you're celebrating your birthday tomorrow, yeah? So tell me what's the plan for tomorrow? I work tomorrow usual <laughs> but after i work i'm going to get my hair cut and then i'm just i'm just doing dinner i don't really want to do too much because i'm on a year journey of um i'm doing like a savings journey so i've been like saving money and i'm trying to like learn how to like not do too much i want to just like relax so today is my spa day i'm gonna do a spa day all day um, probably get lunch after, um, come home, get in a bed, get ready for work. Cause I train someone tomorrow anyway too. So get ready for bed, get up train, and then I'm leaving early to get my hair cut and stuff like that. So. Do you like celebrate your birthday or for you it's just a normal day? So I celebrate my birthday the whole month. So the whole month of July is my celebration. So, I'm so just like, sorry, I didn't understand. So July, sorry, what did you say? Sorry, I couldn't get it. No, no, no. So the whole month of July, I celebrate my birthday. So oh, my I birthday see. is tomorrow, but I don't really, it's a Monday. I see. I'm celebrated like on a weekend or something, so. Right. Next, last question is, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go and why? Um... If I can go anywhere in the world right now, I will go to, I don't even want to go to Dubai because I heard so much about Dubai. I just want to go to like a nice, pretty island by the water with a nice like, um, how can it, like the little tiki's right by the water and just relax and just read a book and just Get a nice massage and just chill. Not really. Very relaxing. Mm -hmm. I like to relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then yet, okay? Let's play now the word association game. I'm going to give away some words. Just have one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I hope you are enjoying the interview. Before we do the word association game, don't forget to give a like. Don't forget to share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel just click on the bottom right there thank you so much and enjoy the word association game one word for family love money spam <laughs> one word for love um one word for love partner life Positive. Okay. Sex. Freak. Huh? <laughs> Freak. Okay. <laughs> Politics. <laughs> um, negative. Religion. Normal. Okay. Fear. 
a little. Friendship. Loyal. Desire. By regret. Scare. One word for success. Never give up. Wish. Well. And your words. Happiness. Me. Good. One <laughs> word for Orlando. Fun. One word for Rhode Island. Adventure. USA. Fight. Okay. <laughs> and the last because one now. Were... Sorry? I know, because the USA is very strong. Got the fight. I see. And the last one now, hairstylist, one word. Positive. Okay. If I would say barber, would you say the same? Yes. Okay. Let's pretend now I'm going to meet um, your lovely cousin, the one you said that you're very close to, yeah? And I'm going to ask her. What is the most beautiful thing about Jerry? And what's something that he still needs to work on to improve on? What should say? Um, she say? She will say that I'm a very happy person and I'm a very family man. And negative? Um, that I will say literally what's on my mind when I bite my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep pushing my buttons but but I don't try not to I try to All right. go past that okay let's play now Jerry and the magic box and you can ask me a question hey you can ask me a question now Jerry <laughs> what made you do the broadcast you know what? Um, I'll tell you something. You know, uh, 2020, when the world went upside down, yeah, when people, they literally, um, they were locked, yeah, people, they, you know, they couldn't do much. And I believe that during that time, a lot of people, they found a way to, to live, you know, they kind of, they, they, they found ways that things that they were hidden somewhere that they never explored before. And mm -hmm. this idea, I always wanted to do um, a project where I could connect with people, where I could mm -hmm. express myself, where I could let people express themselves as well. And one day I went for a run in the park during the, the, you know, the lockdown and this idea came along and I was like, oh my God, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create questions. I'm going to research some questions and I'm going to, you know, ask people random people around the world to see what they their opinion what they think about it what their their point of views and here i am after like two years and a half and reaching almost 1000 people on the show so far so it's been a great journey you know it's amazing to see so many people around the world you know um, sharing their opinions connect with other people as well and i think it's it's a bless i think it's it's amazing to you know, to be able to connect with so many people and uh, have an experience. We literally made memories right now. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how it started. That's how the, the journey started. And I'm, I'm very happy about it. Yeah. That's good. Did you have a good time? I did. I did. Thank you. Thank you for reaching out to me. I appreciate it. That was... I was a little skeptical because I'm like, oh, come on, interview me. I'm like, what? But I was like, let me just, you know, because I know, I don't know. So, but thanks. I appreciate it. It was very thanks. fun. Thanks again. Thanks yeah. for taking the time on a day off. My goodness. Thanks for taking the time on a day no, off. Keep in touch. We can, you know, if you want to do it for you again, you know. One day when I come to Rhode Island for the first time, I know who I'm going to contact to show me a little bit around. Now I know. Make sure. <laughs> Thanks so much. Enjoy your birthday tomorrow. My God, enjoy. Have the best. As as you said, that you've been celebrated for the whole month. I think it's a good uh, idea, actually. Not celebrate just one day. Just, you know, do different things for the month and enjoy. So have the, a blast tomorrow. Enjoy your spa today. You work tomorrow. But 
make sure that you have a great time tomorrow, okay? Thank you. But before you go, uh, Jerry, if you can share a positive message, anything that you live by. Um, for everyone's watching, he's, this is a great man. Thank you so much for this interview. And I want you guys to know to keep pushing. Don't ever stop. Keep going and going. It's only going to get better. Thank you. Always, always. Never stop. Keep going. Keep going. That's the, the, the best part of life. Mm -hmm. Never give up. Thanks so much and enjoy your day, okay? Thank you. You too. Bye, Jerry. Take care. Bye. You bye, too. bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.